Waters Watertown High Sports Career is summed up by a 1933 headline, Watertown is a victor by 8-1, Daughters grab spotlight with a steal of home. Red, the captain of what the press called the Watertown Horsehide Machine, was the team's all-scholastic shortstop and was named for the All-Mystic Valley team twice. But Bob Daughters was an all-season athlete. By winter, he captained the hockey team and was named to the All-Bay State League team. By fall, he played football and was named an all-scholastic. Upon his graduation from Watertown High School in 1933, Bob went to the College of the Holy Cross, where he continued to star in baseball and in football. He made the All-East football team in 1935 and received honorable mention All-American status. With his superlative assistance, the 1935 Crusaders went undefeated. The 1935-36 Holy Cross baseball teams had similar success, racking up a combined record of 49-3. Bob played a solid third base, led the team in hitting, and was a monster on the base paths. One game against Colgate, he scored the winning run by stealing second, third, and home in succession. When he was elected to the Crusaders Hall of Fame in 1967, the Worcester Telegram called him one of the finest football and baseball players in Holy Cross history. Bob graduated in 1937 and signed with the Red Sox. Played the Sox organization for some years under the fabled Joe Cronin and played on the Major League squad in 1938 with Sox legends like Ted Williams, Johnny Pesky. 1940, he went to the Philadelphia Athletics. With the coming of the Second World War, Bob joined the Navy and served with distinction for two years on an aircraft carrier in the South Pacific. Bob's passing in 1988 was marked recently by a good friend, Bob Gleason, the track and field star and coach who was inducted into our Hall of Fame last year. Bob, who graduated with Red from both Watertown High and Holy Cross, said that he was a spectacular athlete, but even more a wonderful person. I lost a great friend and Watertown lost a great man. The Hall hopes tonight that we'll remind Watertown of this great athlete, son of Watertown, Robert Red Goggles. Participation in the sport gave you an added dimension. Um, the thrill of victory is a wonderful experience, but sooner or later you might have to face the agony of defeat. When Bob was a salesman in Chicago after the war, he lost one of his best accounts. He walked into the house that night, he tossed his hat in the middle of the living room and said, we'll wait till next year. <laughs> And next year, he got it back. <laughs> uh, just a few years ago, he was hospitalized for some very serious surgery. And um, he was sedated and brought to the operating room. And there the surgeon said, 
Unfortunately, they could not complete the operation, but they would definitely do it the following day. So when I saw him in his room that afternoon, I said, um, game called on the count of rain, and he was still pretty fuzzy, but he smiled, <laughs> and he gave me that old Ernie Banks line, we're gonna play two tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but I think the one that he, the old sports cliche that, that he uh, used during his life, because he knew that if you want to compete in anything, you've got to be physically fit, and uh, that was never get out of the lineup. And he used the old story of Wally Pipp, the Yankee first baseman, who didn't feel well one day and sat out the game. But his place was taken by a new young fellow named Lou Gehrig, who started his record that day of 2,130 consecutive games played. Uh, a friend once asked Bob if he had any a uh, special memory of the three years he spent in the Red Sox organization, and Bob said, oh, I sure do. It was during uh, spring, uh, spring training and a, a grapefruit league game. Joe Cronin wanted a right-handed hitter, so he sent me in to pinch hit for uh, Ted Williams. <laughs> and I got a double. <laughs> but if uh, Bob could have been here tonight, uh, cancer took him out of the lineup four years ago. But if he were here, I think he would look at this and say, gosh, Watertown High School, 1933. Watertown High School, 1993. Honey, I hit a home run. 